when we're having a conversation about India and China, we have to address the space race. Um, it was in October of 2014. That was when China successfully launched an unmanned mission, which paved the way to a lunar mission. That happened a month after India already successfully reached its destination for its Mars mission. Yeah. It seems to me, is, is India surpassing China when it comes to space? Of course, uh, if, if you look from the distance perspective, Indian space has surpassed <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, the, the Chinese uh, um, reach. I think it's not about reaching somewhere. What these two countries have been able to leverage these research in terms of addressing a lot of manufacturing needs. For example, whatever I have heard, the, 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 the precision technologies that has been used in Chinese space industry is accessible to many of the uh, industries around, which that's why Chinese machinery manufacturing is making progress. The same way if you take Indian space research, it has added a lot of value to the industry around and as well as certain uh, you know you know equipments that are in terms of uh, people using for day-to-day -day use as well. I, I, I don't see that truly as a, a measurement of technology advancement and I think a lot of that is building the country image and, and uh, you nationalism. Look, nationalism, national national image of being projecting the country as the superpower or the future future superpower and, and there isn't a military angle to it because a lot of the technology used in the space race have military applications as well. No, I'd agree, I'd, I'd agree with Ranga actually. I don't think it's about face, about nationalism. Of course it's one part of it but I think it's a huge credit to, to India and to China as well that they've been able to do this and develop these technologies at a time when both weren't getting all that much support uh, from the West in terms of high-end technology. 